Raymond Somerville to jump for the Hornets. Wake will have Zach Keller in the jump circle, and it's controlled by the Deeks. Well, the Deeks like to space the court. They'll go five out, they'll go four around one. They really do a nice job of reversing the floor, moving without the basketball, and trying to get into the gaps. Wake Forest coming off an 83 to 59 win over NJIT. A pull off is. Delaware State likes to play man, but as of late, their zone has been doing them wonders. And that's what they started tonight a 3 2 matchup zone. Top of the key three buckets from Miller. They're the only school in Division I to have four players averaging around 15 points per game or more. And they're very, very unselfish. They show up. They're hard to defend because they always look for the open man. Miller has to hustle. He'll go up in the Miller, just great hustle after a loose pass on the perimeter and just finding Hildreth. This is what Miller does best. He just drives it from, from ball and goes to try to take it into the, into the gap. Nice find and a flush right down the boulevard from Somerville. It has been intense on defense, but... Around the wheel to Fredrickson for three. Fifth three for Wake tonight. Deep in the shot clock, still a long way from the cylinder. Marion to the bucket and he throws it down. They were outside and they waited a little bit too long, but then Marion. Miller. Gets him deep and he scores. Well, the zone doesn't get a chance to set. Driving kick and Salas lines it up. Rebound called. Top of the zone here, screening the top of the zone, which allows Poopy Miller to get into the gaps and then he finds the open. Robinson splits the defense, the long and the thunderous flush. When you. See the defense collapse. This is what happened. The flush from Carl. It's just a simple screen to screener. And... Delaware State yet to shoot a free throw. Pull up from Munez, and he splashes it in. Tavares trying to get in the book, and he does with the jumper. The only difference is they're playing man to man and not playing the zone until they start the game. <laughs> Highly touted recruit at Juco transfer from Northwest Florida State. Going baseline. Salas count the basket and one. A, you can make the three, and if you get up into his grill, which you have to do, he can do that. Right down the middle of the floor, wait a little slow on the retreat. Hildreth navigating, flips it up with the left, the off hand, and he gets the roll. He's returning from an injury. He's been sorely missed for Delaware State, second team preseason all me at. State, back to the dunk. Just dared him to take it from the outside on the second pass of the offensive possession, now steal. Hilbert fuels the break. The long and Carl with another finish. Uh, Hilbert just really nice. And he gets another three point shooter and score added to the mix. Miller all the way, coast to coast. The point guard flips it in. Salas after the hedge. Gets down here and he's able to put it through. Corner with nowhere to go. Robinson probing. He lost the handle. Fredrickson, the freshman's all over the floor. Sellers with a They get out. They're active. They're hungry on the floor, and then they're very unselfish on the runouts. Miller navigating. Carr looking for the open man. 
Salas. Nice shot. Well, that's the, one of the worst things when you're a coach is when you, you're driving to the arena to coach your team in a game and you can't, you're worried to death if your best player has an off night, you're going to lose. And Steve Forbes doesn't have to worry about it. We've talked all night long about the offensive balance, but in the second half, it's been the defense for Wake. This is always a feel of relief for a coach and a coaching staff and a program. And you can see it in how they share the ball. Wake Forest, that'll do it. They win it 88 to 59.